Hey, what's going on you guys? It's uh, Buck Parker again, and in this video we're going to talk about getting references for med school, uh, for res your residency application. On my, my uh, Instagram I had a question about this, is, is how do you get really awesome uh, references for surgery rotation? I'm, I'm a surgeon, you guys know that or not, some of you do, and uh, on your surgery rotations how do you get good references? And this can apply to all disciplines. So internal medicine, GYN, all that stuff. Basically, you gotta kick ass, right? I mean, you gotta be, for surgery especially, I, I feel like um, there's a little bit more ass kicking than being smart. Because sur surgery residency is pretty tough. And if you're really a go-getter and you're very proactive, then you're gonna be able to get a, a better uh, you know, a, a good reference. A surgeons, I think, are a little bit different than, you know, medicine folks. Medicine folks might want you to be a little smarter and answer all the questions right and stuff like that. Whereas for me, if it's a student and they're st stupid, stupid, you know, but they're an ass kicker, like they do everything you ask them and they go, they're super proactive and they're er they're early and they're staying late. That's more important for me. You know, I'm, I'm seven years out of residency, but during residency, I did see a lot of applicants. Um, every year, some of, the, some of the residents would interview applicants as well in our program. And so I saw a lot of applications. I saw um, residents and I saw their personal statements and all that other stuff. So I did go through you know, I was on the other side as well. Um, I'm not anymore, but you know, since people started asking me these questions, it's great. By the way, it's awesome that, you know, you guys are IMGs trying to get surgery and stuff uh, because it's a real, it's really tough and I'm glad that I can hopefully help somebody. Anyway, so I read this book not too long ago called, called uh, by Grant Cardone, it's called The 10X Rule, and you're in med school, so you don't have any time to read, which is fine, so I'll just tell you. The 10X Rule is, first of all, think 10 times bigger than you, you think you should. Example is, like, if you wanna open a restaurant, right, don't think you wanna open one restaurant, decide, like, I'm gonna open 10 restaurants, okay? And then, second is act 10 times more, or do 10 times more action than you think you will need to, right? So if you go into a surgery rotation, you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll see, uh, they're like, okay, get, you know, let's, we'll give you one patient, you go see them, blah, blah, take 10. Go see 10, don't tell anybody. In the morning, you can tell them about 10, 10 patients. I'd be like, holy shit, who the fuck is this kid, right? Surgery's more like that, I, I, I feel, than the, you know, th knowing what potassium levels are correct and, and all that stuff, and how to correct them, and, and all that stuff, and the steps of surgery. You know, you don't necessarily need all that stuff. You just need to be a fucking maniac ass kicker, and uh, you will you will get good letters of recommendation. Now, this is also coming from me at an institution where we were very busy, and it was very important for everybody to show up on time and to sh to always be there because if you weren't, then that screwed the other people and so as a resident i was like is this guy gonna leave me hanging or are are we gonna work well together and he's gonna kick so much ass that it makes my job easier to see how, how that kind of goes it's it's weird it's a little bit different than you usually think because you you know when in application mode you're like oh, you know i gotta be like a good student and a good doctor and all this stuff but it's not as much so during your rotations you just gotta like kick as much ass as possible also be nice and it helps if you know stuff and you read obviously ask questions to the residents because the residents also you know they're learning stuff and they want to tell you things most residents are happy to to you know teach things even if you know shit just ask me anyway just fucking make some shit up like oh i don't know what's this you know whatever they're all doctors type a personalities they love they'll tell you every fucking thing look at me i'm talking i'm talking five six minutes no problem right so uh that's my take on the med school reference for residency the other thing is that's very important that not everybody realizes is that you know unfortunately you know, our world is kind of who you know and all that shit. So if you can get the director or, you know, the program director, the chairman, all that stuff, those guys don't always, are, are not always like boots on the ground people. 
So they're maybe not, you, you might not work with them very much, but those are important things. I mean, you know, my chairman could write a letter to shock trauma and say, uh, put this guy in the fellowship and they would do it. And my chairman didn't like you, you weren't gonna get a fellowship over there, you know, or you might not. So think about those things as well. Um, but you also have to perform in front of those people. And you can't just go up to him and be like, hey, I, you know, I answered a couple questions. Can you give me a reference? Because nobody really likes that. Like you want to give, when I, when people ask me for reference, reference I want to really know you. I, I want to be able to write a really good reference for you and not just say, uh, you know, some standard canned bullshit thing because then when you're, when, as a, as somebody's interviewing, I'm reading this and this is, I'm like, this is, this is a bullshit reference. Like this, they don't even, they didn't even know this person. You know, you can, you can tell. So keep all those things in mind. I know it's not like, it's like the last thing you want to be thinking about right now, but that's my take. I hope it helps you. And if you have any more questions, please put them in the comments below. And if you would subscribe to my channel, it'll be, it'll be awesome. And I'll make some more cool videos if you guys want. All right, take care.